my friends welcome to my 200 cd cat models in free cat series today i want to work on exercise 183 this is a very simple object it will be only one sketch job and then we'll have to make an extrusion out of it with that let's go ahead and do this half transparent and i want to start working on this from this face so that is going to be x z plane front face there and then hit ok so that's the image processing half done let's bring axis cross back and try to relocate it to one of the centers i'm going to go ahead with this no maybe here because this one has the reference of this length and that will help us all right first thing first draw sketch on xd plane and i will begin with a slot from here to there this length between here is 120 and then the radius is 15 all right so i'm using 0.22 developers version if you are using 0.21 still um hopefully 0.22 or like the free cut one version will come out soon so you don't have to but if you are using 0.21 uh, i gave these two dimensions these two when i'm drawing this sketch you may have to draw the slot and then go actually do the dimensioning separately so that's a big difference between uh, the current stable version 0.21 and upcoming uh, version 0.22 of FreeCAD. All right, next I want to go create this bean shape, and that's an arc slot. We can go from here, create an arc slot. The first thing is to actually select the center, which we don't know where the center of this arc is. So let's go just take a, an arbitrary point, and we're just uh, eyeballing here we're taking up to this point and the radius we actually know so the inner radius is 12.5 we got that let's do the same thing let's keep the same center and from here to there and it would be 20. so there is this redundant constraint select that and delete that all right let's see let's see if these two are connected they are these two sometimes they are not oh, they are not so let's go ahead and take these two and make them coincident c right now they no i right, take this point and this point and make c coincident somehow it's not taking it okay we'll come back to it okay so let's take this point this is 52.5 millimeter uh, from the axis so we got that and then the horizontally it's 65 millimeter from here which we don't know so let's go fix that one so that one is 90 millimeter first and then on the side uh, it's going to be 60 i guess so well there is 40 and 12.5 and 7.5 that's 60 right so we got that fixed and i'm going to go ahead and try another time make these two point coincident c and it's not working i don't know why all right so now i can say these two points are 65 millimeter all right no it's takes this point and this point they are 65 millimeter away so at least we got one point here all right i'm gonna go ahead and say this is radius 87.5 and then all right and then what else we have only one degrees of freedom left which is this point and somehow this i cannot actually make these two at the same location and that's not working so let's go take a work around make these two vertical 
and that helps all right so it doesn't have to be like you know only one way so we got two parts i think i'm just gonna go ahead and make this one too so this is diameter 15 and one here another one here another one here all these four will be same e on the keyboard and then we'll have to make these two equally distribute so that's 40 and then this is 40 all right we've got two parts done we have to connect them so i am going to take two lines and just connect them up and down just like that so this is going to be vertical and then the distance between these two would be all right i'm gonna trim it first i'm gonna go ahead and trim this one and this one and then this distance would be 7.5 and there will be tangency between these two so that's t and is it moving all right we have to connect these two c on the keyboard somehow this arc slot is giving me some pain with this this geometry i don't know why okay let me take this point and take this whole line and place it on the line sometimes that works all right and now we have four degrees of freedom left and those are here again moving the same point so let's take this to put them in vertical and what else okay here this is going to be horizontal and on the same plane we have one degrees of freedom left and that is the tangency between here and there all right we got a fully constrained sketch i wish it was a little easier i don't know why it was not uh, doing the thing that i wanted to do here especially with the arc slot and then there should be a, a 20 millimeter fillet here so we'll do it later we got the sketch i want to extrude that for 20 uh, 30 so extrude it for 30 millimeter and make it symmetric doesn't matter if it is symmetric or not and then i'm going to go ahead and pick this line see i, I can sometimes it's tough to actually select the lines so we can do two things on that oh there but i was able to select it i if if it still was a an issue we can go and then change the display mode to wireframe that sometimes makes it easier to actually select the lines all right filleting it was 20 millimeter yeah exactly so we got our model pretty simple i'm going to upload this model on on cell lens so you can take a look at it and download it if you wanted to even if you don't have so the visualization is is done on the website so you don't have to even log on or like have to have free get installed on your computer you can take a look at it so the description of this video will have the link to this uh, model uploaded on on sale as well as other ones that i'll do so thank you for watching see you later